started excavating a site in Africa that has got a lot of hominids in it, which is the ancestor animals uh, of, of humans. And in this particular site, which is a new site, which occurs within the cradle of humankind, which is a famous World Heritage Site just outside of Johannesburg, we found uh, fossils of a new species, which, which we named Australopithecus sediba, which we believe is, is a very good candidate as the founding species of the genus Homo. So what you have is, is an animal that was walking upright, and it walked upright in a striding manner, just, just similar to uh, what humans do nowadays, but it had very long arms, and it was still comfortable probably in climbing trees, and it had a very small brain. But the brain was already changing, so you can see from the inside of the skull that we found what the shape of the... Uh, what the shape of the, 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 the brain would have looked like. And it starts looking like a more homo-like brain as well. So it is an animal that is completely transitional between Australopithecines on the one hand, which is a genus of uh, animals that existed before the genus Homo came, and Homo erectus, which is the earliest confirmed ancestor of, of, of us, on the other hand. So we are speculating that it is possible that what we've got here is uh, one of our direct ancestors that is one of the oldest ancestors to the genus Homo. So this, this is the jaw that goes with it. So this is the lower jaw, okay. this bit. And that's the rest of the skull. It's, it's not entirely complete, but it gives us a very good idea of what they look like. They had a face that is more pointy than, than, than a human face, a very small uh, skull. Okay, the, the date that we set on it is between 1.95 and 1.78. Um, it's, it's always complicated. The first thing you do with these sorts of finds is you look at the other animals with which it occurs. So we found a saber-toothed cat with this. And we know that saber-toothed cat in Africa became extinct by 1.5 million years. So therefore the fossils must be older than 1.5 million years. There's a horse with it. We know that the first horse in Africa appears 2.36 million years ago. So now we know that the fossil is between 2.36 and 1.5. So if this one is going to be an ancestor, then it means that our evolution may be driven not necessarily by the size of our brain, as we like to think, but by the way, uh, way we walk, the way we use our hips.